The archetype of the modern day ace is pretty well defined. Usually a righty, with a high 90s fastball paired with a wipeout high spin rate slider or curve as the two main offerings. Most of their dominance comes from ungodly strikeout numbers. Jacob deGrom and Garrett Cole are the two consensus best pitchers in baseball right now and both abide by this profile. Other successful pitchers like Brandon Woodruff, Tyler Glasnow, Zach Wheeler, Walker Buehler, and countless others also follow this model. But you might be surprised to learn the best pitcher in the American League is in many ways the antithesis of this player archetype. John Means is a lefty, who mostly throws a slower than average fastball and a changeup and doesn't strike out many people. Despite all this, he leads the AL in war, has already thrown a no-hitter this season, and sports a 179 ERA. So let's examine how Means manages to dominate hitters in what is, at least for the current state of the league, a pretty unconventional way. John Means was not even close to a prospect. He wasn't mentioned in Fangrass's Orioles Top 30 Prospect lists in 2018 or 19, and the only other report I saw that even mentioned him ranked him 46th in the system and said he was worth keeping an eye on, which is prospect speak for a career quad A player that would be lucky to sniff the majors for than a month or two. In 2019, the tanking Orioles gave Means a spot in their opening day bullpen, and he was quickly pressed into service as a full-time starter. On a team that would go on to lose 108 games, Means was one of the only bright spots, leading the team with 4.9 B-War and being Baltimore's representative at the All-Star Game. His achievements earned him second place in that year's Rookie of the Year voting behind Jordan Alvarez. But while league-wide strikeouts hit an all-time high, Means has struck out just 7 batters per 9 innings. The league-wide home run per fly ball percentage was at an all-time high of more than 15% due to the juice ball, but Means' rate was just 10%. His BABIP allowed was 50 points below the league average. All these illustrate that Means was excellent at limiting hard contact, but if you dive deeper into the numbers, they paint a less optimistic picture. Means' BABIP against was lower than any of his five seasons of minor league ball, which is a pretty big sign for a potential sophomore slump. On top of this, Means' excellent home run per fly ball rate was off a 50% overall fly ball rate. For context, the league average fly ball rate that year was about 35%, so Means was an extreme fly ball pitcher that didn't strike many people out, and despite a great home run per fly ball rate, since he gave up so many fly balls, he actually gave up more home runs per 9 than average. It's important to note that home runs per fly ball rate and BABIP, the two areas of Means excelled in 2019, are stats that are extremely prone to fluctuation, while strikeout rate is a much more consistent stat year to year. Because of Means' low strikeout rate and high home run rate, Means' FIP was 4.41, or nearly a run higher than his ERA. His XFIP, which is FIP normalized to league average home run per fly ball rate and is even more predictive than FIP, was 5.48, the single worst figure out of 75 qualified pitchers that year. Suffice to say, pretty much everything indicated Means was due for some serious regression in 2020, and in the short season he saw it. His home runs per 9 increased by about 75%, putting it more in line with what you'd think given his extreme fly ball tendencies. This resulted in a 4-5-3 ERA and 5-6 FIP in 10 games, and tempered expectations going into his second full season. So what's changed in 2021? Well notably, Means has pitched 10 games so far this year, and thrown 22 more innings than he did in 10 games last year. Even in 2019, Means averaged less than 5 innings per start, but this year he's up to 6.5, a, a huge boon for a pitching staff that doesn't have many weapons. His fly ball rate is still a huge 47%, and his home run per fly ball rate is higher than his rookie season. His strikeouts per 9 is up to 8.8, .8, a full strikeout and a half more than his rookie year, which is still below average but a big step forward. Means' most standout metric is his minuscule 188 BABIP against, which is almost 100 points lower than the league average. This combined with an elite 1.5 walks per 9 gives Means a .75 whip and 179 ERA, both best in the American League. Basically, although he gives up more fly balls than almost anyone in baseball, he's also in the 10th percentile for exit velocity against, so he induces a lot of weak pop-ups, which has been the catalyst for his success. So let's analyze Means' pitch repertoire to get a better idea of how he's able to succeed without a great fastball or strikeout stuff. His main pitch is the four-seam fastball, which he throws at about a 50% rate and averages 93 miles an hour on. This is in the 40th percentile for fastball velocity, which isn't a great sign for a pitch that comes in more than half the time, but that's made up for by the spin rate and movement. The fastball is in the 76th percentile for average spin rate and 83rd percentile for fastball spin efficiency, which measures how much of a pitch's spin actively contributes to movement. Because of this, Means' four-seam has nearly 20% fewer inches of drop than the average fastball, which manifests to a hitter as perceived rise. This explains Means' astronomical fly ball rate, since his fastball has so much spin, it ends up higher in the zone than a hitter expects, leading to pop-ups. 
Baseball Savant even measures this, with contact against means being under the ball 33% of the time, far higher than the league average of 24%, and the average launch angle against of the pitch being 28 degrees, again far higher than the league average. It's not just the fastball that excels at limiting hard contact though. Means' main secondary pitch is his changeup, which he throws about 30% of the time, averaging around 83 miles an hour, a 10 mile an hour speed differential from his fastball. The changeup is strange in the sense that strictly by movement it kinda stinks, grading in the bottom 10% of all changeups in vertical movement with below average horizontal movement. But by Baseball Savant's run value metric, it's been the single best changeup in the league in 2021, with negative 9 runs of value and 268 pitches thrown. He does throw it more often than most, inflating the figure a bit, but even on a rate basis he's in the top 10% of the league. So why is it so great? We can look at pitch heat maps to see that even though the pitch has relatively poor movement, Means uses his pinpoint accuracy to exclusively keep it away from righties, making it nearly impossible for them to pull the pitch and force them to go the other way with a very slow offering, something most hitters struggle to do. Compared to previous seasons where the pitch was less effective, in 2021 he's doing a great job of keeping the pitch down and away from the middle of the plate or inside to righties, spots where hitters will destroy breaking balls. This gives his changeup an elite 38% whiff rate and just a 208 x woba against top 10% in the league. I think this changeup is the biggest reason Means actually has drastic reverse splits as a pitcher. Most lefties fare better against left-handed hitting, but in 2021 Means has 9.7 strikeouts per 9 against righties and just 6.2 against lefties. These reverse splits do go against his career averages, so maybe due to small sample size, but so far this year, Means' improvements have led to better numbers against righties than almost any left-handed starter in the league. I'd like to highlight Means' slider as well, which has a beautiful heat map, exclusively down and inside to righties, or more commonly away from lefties. Similar to the change, the pitch's movement is below average, but the location is so precise it doesn't matter. It's just another example of Means using his greatest strength to his advantage, his excellent command. I haven't talked much about it so far, but from 2019 to 2021, Means' 1.9 walks per 9 ranks 13th out of 130 qualified pitchers, and while his BABIP against or home run rate might slump, this standout control will not slump and make Means at the very least a decent innings eater for the foreseeable future. So can he keep this level of production up going forward? His BABIP will certainly start to regress, so I wouldn't expect this level of dominance from him for the rest of the year, but his command is so good that I would hardly be surprised if he can keep his walk and home run rates near their current level, and have a career path similar to Rich Hill or any number of other successful crafty lefties. Means is just 28 right now, and I think his best player comparison is Marco Gonzalez on the Mariners, who's carved out a niche of low strikeout, low walk, high fly ball rate innings eating. But Means throws harder and has better stuff overall, so he could easily surpass Gonzalez's level of success. He'll definitely be a piece of Baltimore's rebuild going forward, or a tantalizing trade piece for a contender. And you know what, pitchers like Means that force hitters to put the ball in play are good for baseball, and it's always nice to have different archetypes of pitchers that stray away from the platonic ideal of the modern day ace. As always, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, etc, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. John, man, I love you buddy, but you gotta shave. I'm not gonna let you near the middle school with that stash, man.